Hello everybody, welcome to the Hacienda again. Rivet here. Today we're going to make frijoles charros. Yes, a deliciously frugal recipe coming to us from northern Mexico and the Republic of Texas back from the 1800s. So what we're going to do is I'm going to rinse the beans. I'm going to soak them overnight. Then join me in the morning and we'll put them uh, to work in the crock pot. I got a seven quart crock pot and that's how we're going to make them. After an hour and a half on high to bring it up to simmer, I turned it down to low and it's been cooking on low or it cooked on low for six hours. So now it's on warm. Now you never add salt to your pintos or your beans before they cook. So now I'm going to add a generous tablespoon of uh, kosher salt, mix that in well. Oh, this smells delicious. And let's go ahead and uh, plate them up and see what they taste like. All right, so here we have a bowl of delicious charro beans uh, with some tortilla chips and a frosty mug of beer. Perfect. Uh, this smells really, really good. And uh, that's not all. We have to uh, prettify it. We're going to put some queso fresco on top. This is optional, but I like it. I don't know that the vaqueros put this on theirs, but who knows. Uh, so let's go ahead and taste it, see what it's like. So let's grab the spoon, chew fly, and get over there. Look at all the luscious uh, chorizo, peppers, onions, green peppers, jalapenos, beans. Oh, let's try it. Mmm. That's hot. Mmm. Very tasty. Um, much more than a pot of pintos. This has, I've got all the spices in the notes below. It, it's not picante at all. The, the heat goes away from the jalapenos. It's just got a lot of zing. Um, the slight bit of cumin is in there. Um, the black pepper, the salt at the end. Uh, very tasty. The onions, the paprika, the smoked paprika in there is, is important. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, garlic, definitely in there. The hallmark of um, frijoles charros are they're, they're soupy like this. It's, it, they're meant to be served in a bowl with chips and uh, you know it's a cowboy food uh, for the trail for the vaqueros. So um, very frugal, delicious to eat, and you can put whatever meats you want in there. Uh, thanks for watching people. Y'all take care.